Tonight, ahead of the game, you can expect some extra traffic in the downtown area as fans make their way to the Cheez-It Bowl for kickoff. Yeah, tonight we sent Team 12's Michael Dowden out to Chase Field to talk to Bears and Frog fans. Hey, Michael, getting crowded there yet? It is getting crowded. It's a nice little atmosphere right now. Pretty much people playing bago to throwing footballs to just having a good time around this little bit of area. And TCU and Cal, well, they've never met in football ever before today. But it is now a perfect little Christmas gift just in time for one family and a pair of sisters. First penalty again. Cal and TCU fans both sharing in the pregame festivities and for the Salveski family. My older daughter went to Cal and my younger daughter is a student at TCU. The game gets to be a little bit of a friendly rivalry. Meet Nikki. You do this on the street, everyone knows. We're walking by each other, go Frogs. <laughs> and Christine. I want to lose my voice tonight from chanting roll on you bears. Together they will say all the right things. We're stoked to be here. Um, I hope Cal wins. I know she wants TCU to win, but this is really special for us. But when it comes to their teams, that sisterly love isn't quite as present. A horned frog? You have to Google what a horned frog is. No one knows. Versus a golden bear, it's the state animal of California. So, I don't know, golden state. I, I, I don't know, can't go wrong. I mean, a horned frog's pretty cool if you look it up. But the two are able to be here in Phoenix together, unable to agree on a bet, but able to spend the holidays as a family, even pulling their mother into picking a side. I love both teams, right girls? I love both teams, yeah, yeah, yeah. but but fear the frog is a cooler thing to say. Yeah. So fear the frog. Now, for those who don't know, this is supposedly a horned frog. I've asked every single TCU fan, how does this look like a horned frog? I've asked Alexis, and no one's been able to give me a good explanation. Now, the game starts at 7 o'clock, and a lot of these people are looking forward just to a fun game and a fun way to spend the day after Christmas. We're live in Phoenix. Michael Doudna, 12 News. Man, putting the pressure on mom to pick a side. To choose. Brutal. <laughs> I just hope it's a good game, right? Exactly. That's, what, it's all that's said what all and done. Unbiased fans can hope for.